friends, welcome to our Feel Good Flow for Power and Rejuvenation. If you're doing the 14-day yoga series challenge, welcome to your final class. This is day 14. If you're just joining us for this practice today, welcome as well. We're gonna be really focusing on cultivating a lot of power and energy through our body today while still flowing and connecting to the breath. You're not gonna need any props whatsoever, just yourself and your mat. So if you guys are ready, roll that mat out and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. There is no catch and no hidden fee. And when you sign up, you will receive our mindfulness journey guidebook, plus a new free yoga and guided meditation class delivered each day to your inbox. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, so we're going to get started today actually standing at the very top of your mat. So go ahead and come to the front. And what I'd like you to do is bring your feet together and just open up the palms of your hands so they're facing forward towards the front of your mat. Standing in this mountain pose, let us relax the shoulders downward away from the ears. Close your eyes and let's just start by taking a couple of deep breaths here. Through this breathing, really finding a grounding, finding this energy from within and bringing it outward through the feet, through the crown of our head. Just really focusing on filling the body with power, with energy, and with love. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, slowly from here, open your eyes and just reach both arms up to the sky, giving yourself a big, big stretch. Palms together, exhale, bend your knees and begin to slowly release down, nice and slow towards the mat. Releasing the fingertips onto the mat, inhale, just slightly extend the knees as you look forward. Exhale, bend your knees and rest that forehead downward towards the knees. Inhale, extend and look up. Exhale, down and release. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, release. See how far you can extend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, now step in your right leg, just about the middle of the mat, flexing your left foot, really feeling the stretch through the back of your leg, through your calf. Now when you exhale, drop that front foot down, bring your right knee towards the other knee and into the chest. Just a few times, step back, release, and then bring it in for two. Step back, flex your front foot, bring it in for three. So getting deeper into your left hamstring, step back. Bring it in for four, great job. Bring both feet together. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, drop it down. Other side, bend both knees, step your left foot, flex your right foot, feel that stretch through the back of your leg. Come forward, bring your left knee to your chest. Step back and flex. Bring it in for two. Step back and flex. And three. One more time. And bring it in for four. Bringing your feet together. Slight bend in the knees. Let's roll up for three, two, one. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, dive it down, back onto the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, this time take two steps back into plank position, shoulders right above your wrist. Chaturanga Dandasana or modify by bring the knees down first. Release the toes, inhale, look up. Exhale, push back, downward, facing dog, stretch it out. Beautiful, just breathe it out here. Allowing yourself to really let go deeper and deeper into this downward facing dog. 
Inhale, round through into plank position. Exhale, just a slight tilt of the pelvis. Push your way back, downward dog. Let's make those beautiful waves with the body come through and push back. And again, come through and push. Last one. And downward facing dog. Come through into plank, chaturanga one more time. Exhale, release the toes upward facing dog. Open up your body. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Bending your left knee, stepping your left foot between your two hands at the top of the mat. Staying in this high lunge position, go ahead and reach both arms up to the sky. Take a second and find that center. Find this grounding in your feet, in your legs. And then just take your right elbow underneath your left eagle arms, interlacing your wrist as well. Palms of your hands together, hold. If you can't interlace the wrist, that's okay. You can just kind of cross the elbows and hold it there. Good. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears, feeling this nice stretch in the shoulders. From here, we're just going to dip that both of your elbows down to that front knee and then bring it back up for one. Let's follow with the breath. Inhale down. Exhale up for two. Lower down. And three, stay in that low lunge. Find that power in your lower body. And four, pivoting that back heel, grounding the heel, opening the body, release the arms. Warrior two, drop that tailbone down. Really, again, finding that power in the legs. Inhale, open the palms, exhale. Peaceful warrior, just stretch out the side of your body here. Let's work with the breath, reach it down, hands to the front of your mat as you reach your right arm all the way over, feeling a nice stretch through the body. Inhale, come back up, peaceful warrior. Exhale. We make this a little faster because we're just really finding a fluidity and movement through the body, holding just for two breaths here. Beautiful. Coming back into that warrior two. Right elbow underneath your left. Interlace your wrist. Lift the back heel. Pivot yourself back into that high lunge. And then bring all of your weight forward to that front foot. Bring the right knee up. Eagle pose. Cross it over. Interlace your ankle. If this is too difficult to interlace the ankle, just plant your foot down and hold it like this. All right? Listen to your body, guys. Don't worry what the pose looks like. Worry about how it feels. Hold it here. Find your balance. Aligning the knees and the elbows. Beautiful. Release. Bringing your feet together, just reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale from here. Bring your right arm behind you. Bend your right knee and just grab that right heel. Now, we're going to go into a dancer's pose, but I'll show you one variation first. You can just start here and focus on keeping the knees together, pulling the heel in. That's it. Then if you're ready to go further, feel free to reach the left arm forward and then start to lift that back knee coming into your dancer's pose. Lift as high as you can. Shoulders staying square, hips as square as possible. Hold for one more breath. And let it go, releasing the foot. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank position. Let's take that chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back. Let's hold it here for one more inhale. Big exhale. Just let yourself go a little bit deeper into this downward facing dog. Wonderful. And then from here, go ahead and take your right leg. Reach it all the way up towards the sky as high as you can. Bending your right knee. Bring it forward and then step in between your two hands with your right foot. 
From here, reaching both arms up, high lunge, finding the center again. Hold it here. And then this time, we're going to take your right elbow underneath your left. If you did that side, then you're going to reverse the other elbow. It doesn't really matter as long as you do both sides. Hold it here. Now let's add some movement, bringing your elbows towards your knee. Exhale, bring it up for one. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift and open for two. Inhale, down. Exhale, three. One more time. Exhale, bring it up for four. Awesome. Now just start to pivot the back heel, opening yourself, releasing the arms into your warrior two position. Just do a quick alignment check. Make sure you're nice and strong. Pull the navel into the spine. Opening that front palm of your hand, releasing into that peaceful warrior. Stretch out the side of your body. Exhale, bring yourself forward. Right hand towards the inside of your right foot or the front of the mat. Reach your left arm. Extend at that angle again, breathing deeply into that side body. Inhale, come on up. Reach it back. Make this fluid and feel good on the body. Exhale, bring it forward, reaching the left fingertips all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, go a little bit deeper if you can. Slowly from here, come on up into your warrior two. Left underneath your right. Lift the back heel, pivoting the heel so you're back into that High lunge variation with your eagle arms. Shift your weight forward, bringing your left knee up. Cross it over your right and then get into that eagle pose. Interlacing the back heel under or again, modification, just to keep the foot grounded as so. Find that center, hold. Deep breath. Beautiful. Let's slowly release, release the arms, bringing your foot down next to the other side. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left arm drops down and reach towards the back. Grab your left heel. I like to grab from the inside and just pull the heel close to your glute first. Now, if you're ready to take it to full dancer's pose, right arm forward, kick that heel back and lift that knee coming into your dancer. Find that balance, find that breath. Hold. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Release the foot, inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, dive it all the way down. Inhale, halfway length, and exhale, step or hop back if you wish into plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Looking to the top of the mat, lift your heels, bend your knees, and take a big hop and land with your feet outward into your malasana, the yogic squat. We've done a couple of these in the last 14 days of our series, so you know what to do. If you need to roll the mat and place it underneath your heels, you can, just like this, to give it a little bit more support. If you're able to bring the heels downward, then you're just going to hold it here. And just breathe. Just find your breath. Use your elbows and push the knees outward. Great job, you guys. Really feeling this opening in the hips. If you want to do a little rock side to side, you can. For those of you guys that want to add a little fancier kind of variations, you can just reach one arm up and then switch to the other side. Okay, just have fun with it. Again, this flow is all about feeling good, about finding what works for your body, what feels right for your body. Finding that power strength, that energy, 
Bring it back to center wherever you are. And then from here, we're just going to bring the palms down. Lift your heels. Heel toe your feet so they're a little bit closer. So hip width apart, going into our crow position. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Bend the elbows. Place the knees on the backs of your triceps. And then begin to shift your weight forward. So feel free to play with it first, lifting one foot off the ground at a time. And just holding. And then see if you can bring the other foot up. Hold that crow, breathe. See how far you can extend those elbows. And if you wish, you can step out into plank position or you can do a more difficult variation by hopping right into a chaturanga. I'll do the difficult variation, but feel free to step out. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back. Good, chaturanga and then upward facing dog. And then exhale, push it back, releasing, downward facing dog. Well done, you guys. Just take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Great. From here, lift your heels, bend your knees, take a hop, cross your ankles, and land along the front of your mat. And then from here, go ahead and just extend your legs in front of you. Boat posture holding for just five seconds. Drop the shoulders away from the ears for three, for two, and one. Release the hands, release the body. Bring it in and extending your legs into our final posture, our Shavasana. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> now just open up your arms and your legs. Palms of your hands are open and really focus on just deepening the breath. Feel the vibration of energy running through your body. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel your breath. And then using your own breath, slow down your heart rate. Relax the body. Let go of your face. Let go of your shoulders. Your arms. Your chest. Your glutes. Your thighs your calves and your heels. Just completely relax and let go. And with each beat of your heart, allow yourself to reconnect deeper with that energy within yourself. That energy that not only brings you peace and blissfulness, but also the energy that gives you power and energy of strength, stamina, patience, finding gratitude for this beautiful energy, for guiding you through the last 14 days of everyday yoga practices, of pushing your body to different levels, to different movements, postures, exercises and for finding patience understanding your own journey because where you are is exactly where you need to be so take this opportunity right now to just connect to your heart to your own gratitude Thankful for your body, for your health, for your own beautiful energy that you are. Now I highly encourage you guys to stay here. Stay in the Shavasana as long as you need to. Don't feel like you need to come out because I begin to close the practice. Stay here. Just relax and enjoy. 
If you wish to close it off with me, if you need to get going, then you're more than welcome to. Just move the fingers and toes first. And then bring your knees in, your arm over your head. And then bring yourself over to one side and then up to a seated position on your back. And just coming over to a seated position with your sit bones grounded. Taking a deep breath in, just finding that balance, that power within you, that energy, and that peacefulness. Once you're ready, slowly bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. Bow down to your own heart, thanking yourself for your incredible practice today, for the last 14 days, for joining me every single day on your mat, and for doing something so good for your body, for your mind, and for your soul. It's been an honor to be with you in the last two weeks. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day, rest of your month, rest of your year. And I hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Namaste.